Welcome my beauties, this is Tasha Ray. Today in my video I'm going to show you a review on this Amazon hair. If you like to know, please keep watching. Alright, so the hair that I'm reviewing is from Amazon. It's Pizzazz Hair. Um, and this is the package it came in. Inside they gave us a thank you card, um, a wig cap, and also some link lashes this is the hair out of the bag straight out the bag showing you all its glory it claims to be a hundred percent unprocessed human hair this is an 18 inch 150 density and it claimed to be a swiss lace pre-plucked and also bleach knots so with this hair it comes with four combs I don't like the front three because I feel it snacks so I typically use a eyebrow razor and I just take it off so I'm just kind of showing me taking it off real simple you slice right between it and it comes right off within less than a minute so yeah so now I'm even though it said it's a bleached um, it came bleached I went ahead and just made my own little bleach concoction and bleached the lace as I'm showing now. Um, just when you're mixing it, I just make sure it's thick. It's like it looks like toothpaste almost, and cover the whole front lace. Um, I usually do this even though it says it's already done. I feel like it needed a little more, so that's what I did. And I just leave it in for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. So now this is the hair all rinsed off. And I'm adding a little bit of mousse. I'm using Lottie Body because that's what I had. And just to kind of push the hair back, I want to put it on the top, but not on the rest of the hair. And then kind of detangle it. This is it just washed. And when I tell you the hair, I barely got any hair that came out, even as I rinsed it off. So for curly hair, the amount of hair that came out was very minimal. So just kind of showing you the hair, how beautiful and shiny and healthy it looks. You kind of see the lace. Um... After I tinted it and kind of zooming in, I'm going to just show you guys quickly how I would pluck it. Um, it did come like I said with baby hairs. I typically don't like baby hairs. Um, but I just combed it, combed it out, kind of traced it. And I'm going to begin plucking right behind it. And I'm kind of just show you just some of it. I'm going to just show you like one side. But I just begin plucking the hair. Really just pulling the hair back. And if you look, you kind of can see the spaces it's creating. Just to give it that illusion. Um, to look more realistic. And I'm showing you the hair that's coming out as I pluck. And then I'm going to go ahead and part it now. And just showing you the part before I actually start plucking. And just start kind of plucking in the middle, pretty much removing um, all the hairs that are in that line so that way all of this is just lace. And just just show you as I go and then kind of show you a before and after of how it looked before and how it looks after I pretty much create that line. And you can see um, on the right side I plucked and the left side I didn't to kind of see the difference in height in the hair. So I plucked on, I made two types of parts, a middle part and a side part. And that's what I'm showing you, just a side part here. Um, that way, if I get bored of the middle part, just move it over, just like that. And this is the hair. I added some mousse, kind of pushed the hair back, so that will be easier for me to install it. 
And then here's um, me, Hideous as Heather, <laughs> with my wig cap and just showing you the one comb I left, kind of measuring it to make sure it's where I want it to be um, and kind of see how it is when I'm ready to cut and how far forward I want the hair. So just always want to measure it before you cut, kind of just like a I added a little mousse to push the hair back and now I'm zooming in a little bit, cleaning the area with a little bit of alcohol. And I did sew my cap on. So the using a little ghost bond and I had to squeeze out a little bit and put it on the popsicle stick. And pretty much I'm just gonna add the glue around the perimeters of my hair. And I'm gonna do it like two layers of it but I did sew down my cap um, it was my first time actually sewing down my cap and I like it because I feel every time I would usually do that by the time I put the wig it start lifting because you know there's nothing to support it so I think I'm gonna continue doing that like sewing in sewing on my bald cap as a part of my method let me know in the comments below if you sew down your caps when you put on your wigs but like I said, I'm just adding the glue, kind of just showing you real quickly, adding the glue. Um, I did it twice. I pretty much smeared it with the popsicle stick to even it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it. So once I'm done blow drying, I put my wig on. And I'm taking my time because I do have the glue on and I want to start pretty much measuring and then I'm going to cut like two or three slits in the lace just so that way I can actually put it on in sections. Um, I prefer to do it this way because I can have more control on where I put the hair versus laying the whole thing down. So starting on one end and then doing the other. Um, the glue is just tacky enough where I actually have time to move it around. So kind of give you a little close up. Me kind of laying the hair down. And just kind of keep measuring and take your time when you're doing this. Um, that's what I have to learn because I am not at any anything um i am not like a cosmetologist i didn't go to school for this so everything i learned i kind of learned on youtube and gave it my own twist and i'm just showing you guys um but this hair it really it's i believe it's beginner friendly it's so it's a good quality for the cost um i got it super quick out one day shipping with amazon prime and the hair is just minimum shedding the lace also um, it says it's a Swiss lace, um, and to me, it, it, it's a very good quality lace. So as I showed you, I cut out the ear um, slots, so that way I customized it so the hair goes around my ear. And I did it for both sides. It's, like I said, take your time. You're going to cut off some of the hair, but that's fine. Once I'm done with that, I'm actually going to grab me some bed head hairspray. And I'm going to spray around the perimeter of the hairline just to give the hair extra hold and just tie it down so I can spray it, not spray it, blow dry it and kind of try to melt the hair down. Once I'm done with blow drying, I'm pretty much going to cut off the excess lace that's left and I'm going to do it in sections. And I'm kind of showing you one side and as you can see with the plucking method that I did, it looks very nice. It blends in well with my skin and the hair. I really do think this hair is very good for its cost. Like it's just like $107 one day shipping. And yeah. I'm gonna switch up on you guys real quick.
do y'all see that part? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you how we dress it up. Simple face, because the hair is so big. I like big hair, so I want it to look a little bit more bigger, so I probably would tease it, but I love it. I added a little hair accessory glam. And if you want to know where I got this, I do have the link below. It's on my website. Also, these lashes. They're Mulan, they're called Mulan. So, the will be linked in the bio below. Diamond Dog Beauty. So that's what I have on right now. But yeah, I love the hair so much. It's so soft. My hair runs through it with no issues and barely any shedding. My hair room, so yeah. Final look. I had wet it a little bit and it's drying now, which I like. It dries pretty quick. Um, and I just added a little bit of mousse on top. I didn't add anything, any concealer, anything in the middle. But for now, first impression, I love it. So I'll link it down below. It was uh, only a $106 for 18 inch. Um, I didn't want anything too long. I'm pretty sure you can no longer, but it reached like, like, like right here. Um, if you like videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't done already, please like, comment, and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a dime, just a little time, and you're already here. So just click that little chime and be notified every time I upload. So, yeah. I want to thank you for watching my video and see you soon. Bye.